The tassels moved to the other side of the cap and the feet hit the pavement. It's definitely nerve wracking. Nervous is good. I don't know. Worried a little bit, but I'm excited to see what happens in the future. The good news is that we aren't, we're not bleeding jobs. The bad news? Keith Hall, senior research scholar at George Mason's Mercatus Center and former commissioner at the Bureau of Labor Statistics, says the outlook for this year's college grads isn't pretty. The healthcare and service industries are doing okay, but outside of that, jobs are hard to come by. Youth always gets hit harder during a recession. The, the unemployment rate goes up by more. In a sense, graduates get a, a double hit. They don't only have inexperience working against them, they are now facing a recession that's longer and deeper than previous recessions, which is keeping people working and jobs locked up. And now they've got to wait for baby boomers who may have put off their retirement to retire and other people to sort of advance in their careers. Even once graduates get jobs, they oftentimes can get behind in their careers because they've graduated at a bad time. That can set back earnings potential. I know a whole lot of people are really worried about it. Uh, some people have jobs, some people don't. But the ones that don't pretty much have no idea where to look, and they're all kind of just moving back home for a couple of months. But lucky for Mark Disson, he secured an internship for the summer that will likely turn into a job. Yeah, it was pretty competitive, so I was kind of lucky to get it. Doing the internship was the key. Maria Bakai graduated back in December. So it took me four months to get an internship there. I interned for a month, and they offered me a position. Hall agrees keeping your resume active is essential. Get a job even if you're underemployed. Consider an internship or going back to school for a higher degree. And the long-term unemployed have, have always been the last ones to be rehired. Hall says the job market will open up once baby boomers retire, but with the slow economic recovery, that is still a few years off. In Washington, Laura Evans, Fox 5 News.